Cordo is a bear who once lived at start with the title. Cordo. Cordo is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day he waited with all the other animals and dolls for someone to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things but never seemed to want a small little but no bear one in ever green. seemed to want a but no small bear seemed to in green want a small bear in green overalls oh that's why Stevens his button is missing broken yeah. otherwise all of them would want him want him yeah. then one morning a little girl stopped and looked straight into Quidward's bright eyes oh mommy she said look there's a there's the bear I've always wanted. Hmm. Use your pointing finger to read this one. Okay. Hmm. Not today, they are her mother's yeah. side. I've spent too much money already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. Cordua walked them sadly walked away. Sadly, as they walked Sadly, away. As they walked away. I didn't know I lost the button. He said he, he said didn't know. So tonight I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone, the doors were shut and unlocked. Cordway climbed carefully down the shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quiet by an accident, he had stepped into the escalator, and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wanted? Mm -hmm. I think I've always wanted to climb the mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there, before, before his, his eyes, eyes was a was most, most amazing, amazing sight. sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and, and rows and, and, and rows of, of beds. beds. This, this must, must be, be a, a palace called Rogas. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed, and up he crawled into a large, thick mattress. All at once, he saw something small and around. There's my button, he cried and tried to what pick it up. What was it? It's, it's, it's those things on a mattress. On the mattress. I don't think we have it. We anymore. have it, yeah. Yeah, but under that uh -huh. thing. Thing, yeah. But like all the other buttons like on the mattress, the it was mattress, yeah. It was tied it was down, tied down tight. He yanked and pulled <laughs> the button. Honey, it's not uh -huh. his. Button. Yeah, he thinks it's his button. It belongs to both the paws until pop pop off, off came, the came the button. <laughs> and off the, the mattress, corduroy top toppled. Top. Bang into a tall floor lamp. Over it, he over it fell with a crash. That's not his button. He's gonna get in trouble. Yeah. Kojo didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above when he heard the crash. He came dashing down the escalator. Mm -hmm. Now, who in the world did that? He exclaimed, somebody must be hiding around here. He flashed his, his light, light under and, and over sofas, sofas and beds. And beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there, there, he saw there he saw fluffy brown, two fuzzy brown two ears. Fuzzy brown ears. Like sticking this. up from the from the cover. Mm -hmm. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Kojo under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy.
toy department with all the other animals and dolls. Mm -hmm. Kojwa was just waking up when the first, first customer came into the store in the morning. In the morning and there, looking at him with a wide arm smile, wide warm, wide warm smile, was the same was the little same girl. Little girl he had seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said. And you're, and you're going, going to, to be, my? be my very own bear. Last night I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank, and I and my mother and said. My mother said. I could bring, I could you, bring you home. home. Shall I put him in the box for you? The stair lady asked. Oh, no, thank you. Lisa stood and she and carried Koizoi home. In, in, his her arms, in, in her arms. In her arms. She ran all the way up flights. Um, up four flights, up of, four stairs, flights of stairs like Yusuf's house into her family's apartment and straight, and straight to, her to her own room Kojwa blinked there was a chair and a chest of drawers and alongside, and alongside a, a girl size stood bed a stood a little bed, bed just the right, just size, the right for size for him, him. the mm -hmm. room was small no, nothing like the enormous palace the in the department in store. The department store. This, this must, must be, be home, home, he said. Yeah. I know I I've know always I wanted, wanted a home. home. Yeah. Will we finish this? Yeah. Lisa sat down with Cordroy on her lap and, and began, began to sew a button, button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said. But you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. You must be my a friend, said Cordroy. I've always wanted a friend, me too, said Lisa. And, and gave, gave him, him a big, big hug. hug. What? Is this Lisa? Yeah, that's Lisa. Why? That's Lisa. Lisa is not that big. And I think it's over. That's it. Meet the author. And these are the questions. And that's it.